The Eurydians are not known for their scientific prowess, but the research station is listed as a protected asset. According to your ship's computer, the Eurydians have a trade agreement with a human scientist named Amar Singh. He is working with someone in the Empire on a genetic research project. It's unclear what Drake expected us to find here. This is Research Facility Logner Beta 3. I am Plardos Yarden, commander of the station. With whom am I speaking? Uh, we weren't informed there would be visitors today. How may we serve the Empire? Commander Plardos, you will provide this ship's computer access to all recent station communication logs. You will also transmit a manifest of shipments and supply delivery receipts for the last month. Uh, um, well, this is unexpected. You do realize that we have an agreement with your government and Dr. Singh. Our research is highly classified. You do have some sort of official order granting permission to view these records? Why are you attacking us? Please, we are not your enemy. You're completely mad. This is a top security installation. You don't have authorization to access our records. We're filing a formal complaint. Of course we're hiding something. We're conducting classified research. That's why you are not authorized to access station records. You do understand the concept of top secret, don't you? This is preposterous! We refuse to hand over top secret information without proper authorization. We will defend ourselves, if necessary. <laughs> We received a distress call from this station. We are here to provide assistance. Station Commander Plardos sounded distressed. He mentioned a disagreement with a Klingon vessel. It would be dishonorable of us not to investigate. We appreciate the delicate nature of the situation. Would you mind if we spoke with the station? Perhaps we could resolve any misunderstanding. I find this very suspicious. Why would Romulans respond to a distress call here? I don't need to remind you that we're in Klingon territory. The fact that these Romulans are here at all could be the clue we need. 
Commander Plados has explained the situation. It sounds as if there's been a miscommunication. The foolish bravado of the Klingon Empire. Attacking your own station and then accusing us of wrongdoing. I should have expected something like this. Very well. We'll communicate in terms you can understand. the Tall Shi'ar to this system, but we would have been outmatched without your aid. The Romulan Republic faces many challenges, but conflict with the Klingon Empire should not be one of them. As a gesture of good faith, I'll share with you information that you might find to be of value. We believe Tall Shi'ar agents are collaborating with operatives in the Klingon Empire to steal weaponry and technology. We have uncovered large supplies of Klingon weapons on the planet Nimbus III that we believe are being stockpiled there by agents of the Empress. The stolen goods are being transferred through several facilities in the local sector, including this science station. The shipping manifests on the supply crates and the weapons themselves. By tracking the flow of goods, we've learned that there are agents in the Klingon Empire transferring stolen supplies to the Tal Shiar. Those supplies are being stockpiled on Nimbus 3. If you will help track down the source of those weapons, we will share our data with you. Transferring the data now. We expect the Klingon Empire to track down the source of these stolen goods and punish those responsible before more weapons fall into the wrong hands. If we discover any further information, we will notify the Empire's ambassador on Mol Rihan. Please listen to me. We were only following protocol. We must ensure that our research doesn't fall into the wrong hands. We we didn't know the shipments we were transferring were stolen. I, I was told that the crates were medical supplies needed on the war front. We didn't ask questions. Please, show mercy. We were only doing what we were ordered to do. Due to present circumstances, we will forego normal security authorization and provide the files you have requested. We live to serve the Empire. Facility. Their findings confirm what the Romulan Republic officer told us. Someone has been routing technology and weapons to the Tal Shiar, and they are going to great lengths to cover their tracks. An operation of this magnitude would require the resources of one of the houses, but the shipments are being routed in such a way to conceal their point of origin. Our evidence is circumstantial. <sighs> It was my eagerness to point fingers without proof that landed me in Urapenthe in the first place. We must exercise patience and wait for our prey to reveal themselves. My father is Ambassador Worf. He has many friends and many enemies. 
I tried to convince him that one of the houses was moving in the shadows against us. He either didn't believe me, or didn't care. Either way, he made his decision when he refused to act after I was sent to Urapinthe. His pride is a weakness our enemy will try to exploit. You can try, but we must be prepared if he doesn't. We should at least warn him of the danger, even if he refuses to see the knife at his throat. Greetings. How may fight with honor? Perhaps. First, tell me who you are. Greetings. How may I assist you? That is an odd request. We stand in the courtyard of the Great Hall, and honor has no need of secrecy. If you cannot speak your mind in this place, then I have no desire to hear what you have to say. That is not my son's name. If Kemtar wishes to talk, tell him to come and speak to me. I will not communicate through intermediaries. He is the only one in danger, unless you have been foolish enough to listen to his tales. But you have already made that mistake. If you have spoken to him, then you have been to Rurapenthe. I am Gintok to the house of Martok. Lady Sorella has declared vengeance on the house of Jimpak. It would not surprise me if all the great houses wish me dead. <laughs> Tell my son that I am capable of defending myself. Romulans. That does not make sense. Jimpak's position towards the Federation and the Tal Shiar is very clear. And in this, he has my house's full support. It would be foolish for any house to make such a connection. However, I would not be surprised to hear you mention the house of Duras. And that is exactly the sort of accusation that landed my son in a penal colony. Tell Kemtar that unless he has proof, he should stay silent. If he is a fugitive from Rurapente, he will only make his situation worse. I do not want to know any more about what you two are plotting. Has Worf agreed to speak to us? What name I use is not important. Did you tell him what we've learned? Did you tell him the Romulans are involved? Given their history, I've considered the possibility that the House of Duras might be involved. Is he at least willing to review our evidence? Yaicha! A stubborn old man, and he is going to get himself killed. Agreed. If the Jin talk to House Martok will not listen, we will take our concerns to the house itself. Martok's son Drex is off world. I will contact Lady Sorella and arrange a meeting. You must meet with Lady Sorella from the house of Martok. She.